character profile time. And as we threatened, uh, promised last week, we are going to be talking about Dr. Matt Carter this week. Everybody's favourite doctor. In a soap. Yeah. Well, apparently, no. He apparently did win an award for Best Soap Doctor a few years ago. Exactly. Back when he was young and young and promising upcoming uh, character. But I wouldn't say that he was my favourite doctor not in a soap. Who's your favourite doctor not in a soap? The doctor. Oh, Doctor Who. No. Yeah, they should have it's not called Doctor Who, as you well know. <laughs> We need to talk about Matt Carter, because if we don't do it now, then he's... We never will. He's not going to be a classic character. And he was mentioned this week on the show, in that the new Doctor is not a patch on him, apparently. So he has officially, officially left now, and the news broke a few weeks ago. But because we've been doing other things, other than character profiles, um, for the last few weeks, we finally got on to him. So... Matt Carter first appeared on Coronation Street on the 20th of August 2010 and he last appeared on the 5th of April 2013. Did anybody notice that he wasn't in it since then? No. No. He appeared in a paltry 74 episodes and was played by the... What were you going to say? Still more episodes than we've been in. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. He was played by the apparently hunky Oliver Miller. What do you say, Gemma? Oh, they all look the same to me. <laughs> yeah, he's the GP at the Rosamond Street Medical Centre, or he was. He was originally signed up for four episodes, and then he stayed on because they thought, wow, he's hunky, I think we need to keep him. We need a bit of on We haven't got totty. anything to do with him. <laughs> yeah, we need some medical totty. Well, let's have a rundown of what he has actually done in those three years. It's going to be a short one this week. In 2010, in August, he was involved in Natasha's pregnancy storyline because... Um, Nick had finished with her. I like Natasha. Natasha was utterly boring until her final oh. episode, I thought. Am I thinking of someone different? No, no, no. You, I think I think you did like her. She was, the, she was the one that kind of told everyone what she thought of them before she stormed out, um, which was a great exit, but she was another one that they didn't know what to do with. But come on, we can't, let's, let's give him his time in the spotlight here. Matt Carter. He was involved in this because uh, Natasha had finished with Nick um, she won- she'd aborted the baby and then Nick and her had got back together again and so she went to see Matt to see how can I get pregnant again quickly how quickly can I do it and do you think Nick will never notice because uh, he didn't know about this abortion Matt also told off Gail that month because she told Nick that Natasha was in the uh, surgery with Matt and so Nick burst in there going oh I'm going to be a dad and Gail shouldn't have told him that he was there naughty Gail um, naughty then, naughty but it naughty. was that was nothing compared to when Gail <laughs> later looked through Natasha's medical records and discovered that she had had an abortion so Matt sacked her and that's why we have the lovely Deirdre at the medical centre now in December that year he was very useful He, I think the most useful thing he's ever done was that there was a tram crash and he helped open the medical centre. What, with a key? He had a special key? Uh, yeah. And he knew how to turn the locks off? Yeah. The alarm. He said, I'm a doctor, trust me. He also helped Fizz give birth to Hope. There's really no dressing this up, is there? This is all quite boring. <laughs> I know. Trying to make it sound interesting. <laughs> he also Right, you, you do 2011 okay. then. What did he do? <clears throat> Go on, Joe, make right. it sound interesting. In January... Dr. Matt admitted John to hospital after he had a mental, mental breakdown. breakdown. Oh mental breakdown, mental breakdown. Also, he helped Peter after he fell at home during tram recovery. That was just my, don't just read my... <laughs> yeah. He'd fallen <laughs> over, he couldn't walk. Like... He had bad crutches. I remember when he fell over and Matt was like, oh, I could save you, I'm a doctor. I'll help you. In June, he called the attention of Ugmar and Grishma, who pretended to be ill in order to ensnare him in an attempt to get Sunita a new doctor husband. That was quite funny, actually, but that was more down to them rather than him. <laughs> Later that year, he started dating Tina. That was Tina, also funny, what? actually. The sexiest female in soaps? <gasps> yes, Dr. Matt was what dating match. Tina. Whoa! But she didn't fit in with his fancy pants doctor friends. That was funny. So sad. That was funny because we've got a fancy pants on to friends. We don't fit in with his friends either, do we? <laughs> no. Tina discovered an old friend had once dated him on and off for years. He got a pint poured over him when Tina got fed up of him trying to get her to better herself. Ooh, what a snob. What drama. What action. He's like a stuntman. <laughs> he didn't do anything in 2012, apparently, according to Wikipedia in and 2012, other reputable websites. He did some of his own personal He was catching up studying. on his paperwork. He was Googling ailments to find out who on the street has cancer. Yes. 
Yes, that's what you do when you're a doctor in the NHS. This year, he was sceptical about taking part in the full Monty Ooh. at the Bistro, but he did it anyway because he what? thought he'd get some screen time. Wow, he's such a catch. <laughs> he also lectured Sylvia about the evils of cannabis and eating hash brownies. And that was the last thing he did. Wow, what Whoa! a legend. He will go down in the annals of Dr. Corrie Carter, history. Dr. legend on the street. Oh, yeah. Um... That's the end of that, then. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that little recap of Matt Carter. Matt Carter. We'll tell, we, can talk, we can talk a little bit more about him. because, Well, actually, this isn't even about him. No, this him. isn't about him at all. I was quite interested to see. There are lots of famous Matt Carters. He's so boring, he's even got a really common name. I want to know what would happen if you wrote in Matthew Carter. Oh, yeah. Let's see if any of these would have been a more interesting character in Coronation Street. What about Matt Carter, the former General Secretary of the British Labour Party? Oh, would you my have liked God. to have seen that? Yes. <laughs> Politicians could, on the street, think of the scandals in that. He could have had a fight with so many people. Um, Matt Carter, racing, racing driver. driver. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, just think of all the problems he would have with his car that he'd have to have Tyrone check out. Oh, yeah, That'd he be could have gotten into that. Yeah. He'd be like, oh, Tyrone, I was going around a corner and I nearly won the Grand Prix and my <laughs> wheel fell off, you tyke. <laughs> okay, we've got Matt Carter, the Canadian football player. What is Canadian football? <laughs> Is it like English football or American football? I don't know, but I think I know some people that might know. Matt Carter Canadians. knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this is the best one. Matt Carter is also a font designer. Oh my God. He's famous. He, he, he Sa- Fonts such as? Vedana, <gasps> Tahoma, and Georgia. Oh, the plainest, boring fonts there are. <laughs> no, they're the best ones. <laughs> They're the ones you use on letters. Wow, Dear what could sir. He, do? he could have like made signs and everything with Coronation Street if he'd have, been in it. Roy's Rolls needs to spruce up a new sign. Yeah, Rover's return sign. Has that ever changed? I don't know. What does that use? Coria. Times New Rover. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's been Matt Carter, the first African American mayor of Montclair, New Jersey. That sounds a very French way of saying. Montclair. I don't imagine they say that in New Jersey. I don't know. They might do. Maybe. Um, and he also. Is a guitarist for Emery. Yes, a band I've never heard which of. It's a band of musicians. The thing is, Doctor could also be an interesting character. Coronation Street just doesn't know how to make an interesting Doctor because Doctor What's His Face, I still have forgotten. Doctor Joshua's dad. He sounded like Max. No. What was Dr. that? Dr. Bob. Doctor, oh, that other that other doctor, he was Dr. boring Matt. as well. Why can't they make doctors interesting? I think the other one was brought in to be hunky and handsome as well, and then they just realised they've got nothing to do with him and they're just boring. They could have had lots of interesting things, but I don't know whether they think that doctors are too... Let's face it, everyone on the street either has a menial labour job or they run their own business. Or they're a head teacher. A bumbling but one. They, he could have Brian, been a bumbling doctor. <laughs> Brian is probably one oh, of the sorry, very... Hayley. Yeah. You're all right, really. Brian is probably one of the few characters on the street who has a higher education and uses it in a career. Yeah. So maybe they just can't write for people that have that kind of lifestyle. Oh, well, Coronation Street is in. about the working and when classes. And when they tried to write him in with Tina, it was obvious that he didn't fit in with her. And it, it is there is a bit of a social clash. Have, they've got a doctor on um, EastEnders, apparently. I don't know anything about it, because I don't watch that, so... <sighs> apparently there's a doctor on Doctors. Oh, yeah, I think there's a few doctor on Doctors. They should probably there's probably a that. vet on Emmerdale. <laughs> they should have made it a bit like Grey's Anatomy, or ER. Yeah. They could have had loads of really exciting things, of like... If they'd have passed George Rita. Clooney... Rita, stay that. with me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the, the things they could have done, but no. But Matt's left now, so... Yeah, this new doctor, this replacement mm. doctor, she seems all right, but she doesn't seem like she's actually going to be in it. She's she looks be... like the registrar. She's... That's what I was exactly <laughs> I was thinking. She's going to be like the registrar that will pop in every now and again oh, to say something serious, you've got, like you've... you've got cancer. Your leg's going to fall off. I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. She's also like um, Marcus's, Marcus's boss, like serious, professional, no nonsense, not really in it to be a character, but kind of she's all right just being there. So this new Doctor was played by, we've just discovered this. Vinny Dillon. Vinny Dillon. And did you know that in 1990, Vinny Dillon also played a character called Debbie, who was a parent, according to Coropedia, employed by Mike Baldwin as a machinist when he set up a sweatshop to produce travel bags in the flat above Jim's cafe in February. The noise and dust disrupted the cafe, and when a health and safety inspector paid a visit, the enterprise was closed down and Daffy and her colleagues lost their jobs. But they... she does have a rather spiffing 
90s denim jacket. So she does in the picture, yeah. Anyway, we, we, we're off the subject of Matt again. There's really nothing, nothing to, to say, say about him. Let's, let's have some quotes, some quotes. This is um, Oliver on his romance with Tina. I'm hoping I'll get the chance to show that Matt's not Mr. Perfect and has a bit of a dark side. I'd like him to have a love interest. There are a few possibilities. I mean, the Coronation Street women aren't exactly spoilt for choice when it comes to fit men, are they? So Ooh. <laughs> he was a little bit up he thought there. He thought much of himself there, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, right. He wanted a storyline, didn't get one. On leaving, he said, there were quite long periods when I didn't appear at all, so I realised it was time to leave. Yeah. They didn't try to make me stay. <laughs> That's the worst bit about it. They didn't say, no, please, we they need went, you oh, back. Thank God. Oliver. Uh, what are you going to do? They admitted they didn't have any solid plans for the Doctor, and it would be more of the same. I thought... Fair enough. You've been great, but it's time to go. Not really been great. Carry on. The producers were very good about being flexible. They let me do an episode of Doctors and Midsummer Murders. But I was getting offers of theatre work. And I couldn't have had three months off Coronation Street to go on tour. Oh, no, not with those storylines. <laughs> I, I think he could have got away with it. I think he might have done. Yeah. I realised it was time to move on. I learned a lot in nearly three years, and I will really miss the cast... More than the character. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Oh, well, yeah. Who, what's, what's going to be next? What's next? What's for next for the Rosamond Oliver Street Bob- Medical Bob- Centre? Oliver Bobbly, Wobbly, what's his name? I can't remember. Mella. Oliver Bob. At least they've got Deirdre <laughs> still, and she's hilarious. And yeah, she was hilarious this week. They should just get her to um, learn to be a doctor. It'd be great. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be brilliant. <laughs> um, oh, here's the stuff about the award. It was August 2011. Inside Soap readers voted him the top soap. Um, doctor. Considering how many soap awards there are every month, I am not surprised that he actually got number one, I'm not surprised there is a category for top soap doctor <laughs> and number two, I'm not surprised that he won it because no. really, who else would win it? I don't know. But that's it. That is it for Matt Carter. We may never Please, mention him again. Everybody, if anyone, unless anyone's got anything to say about him. favourite Dr. Matt moments? <laughs> All your fond memories of his long career on the, the thing street. is, he has got some funny moments. That stuff with him and Tina in the bistro it was kind of funny. But was it and funny because we could Itmar imagine? Well. Itmar Oshman was funny as well. I think it was only funny because we were imagining ourselves in that situation. Uh, I guess so. Anyway, there we go. We'll be back with um, a more interesting character next week. <laughs>